Yeah, hi right, guys. We're looking at the 10, 10 minute chart of Neo, Neo stock. And it opened, see this big spike here. The lowest point was, was actually, I'll turn up the screen. Yeah, I was having a kip. I had a trade on um, Lazar, if you see on my other um, other video. But anyway, cashed out for one one thirty profit. I think I lost out on two two like three hundred because it was uh, it was higher when I was kipping. So I basically lost out on three hundred dollars profit, but. 130 profit is better than nothing anyway yeah we're looking at neo and it, on this green line here the lowest point was the first of november today it actually just went below five dollars neo stock 4.99 and the highest point when it opened this is a 10 minute chart 10 minute chart guys so the highest point was quite spiky when it opened highest point was 517 517 dollars neo stock on the um, 10 minute chart so what happened then as you can see this is still on the 10 minute chart for Neo is obviously open lower than rose to that 517 and then it was going down to 509 roughly as you can see back up to kind of like peaking up 517 again curiously these points as if it's been like manipulated but anyway it's come all the way down and that's where we are now it's the 1st of November 2024 um, this according just coming up to 6 13 p.m. UK time 1813 1813 at 100 hours k time so the market's still open and if we put it on the five minute chart neo stock don't make much difference you can see the price you can see the it's 505 it's actually 508 to buy you can see up here on this particular trading chart it's five oh five dollars point oh eight cents to buy and to sell five dollars point oh five to sell and anyway as i said i, I made 130 on luminar technologies i should have made four at 4 30 around about that if i had not been sleeping you snooze you lose you snooze you lose anyway is what it is and then i bought um neo neo stock i bought neo stock look guys i don't think it's going to delist but just to put it out there in case some people think it might it's just my opinion this is not financial advice i'm not telling anyone to buy neo stock buy more neo stock hold neo stock sell neo stock you know close your positions on neo stock go long or go short it's just my opinion i've just bought two two thousand dollars this account it's in dollars two thousand dollars worth of neo stock and 
yeah, the reason is that I was going to load up more, to be honest, on Neo stock. But I thought, just in case it goes down, like, but then if it goes down, it won't stay down for long. But I, I thought anyway, if it, just in case it goes down, I could load up because I had some cash in my account from selling that, you know, the czar. And um, look, I thought it's gone down again. We know what happened last time. Let's have a look what happened when the I stopped last time. So let's put it on the one day chart. Get a better. No, it's gone. It's all messed up. Let's change it. If it does that, you know, it goes all wrong. This this particular. It goes wrong. Let's open it up like that. That's it. I've opened it up. You can see it's the um, Neo stock. Yeah, let's put it on the one day chart. Still messed up. We know what happened anyway. It went, it, it basically, when it was low, it went high. Trying to open a chart again. Basically, you know, when it was low, when Neo went down to five. It was around about here, wasn't it? It was 5.05. Let me just try to get out of here and go on to another chart because it's totally messed up. Right, let's put it, that's on the 10 minute as well. Right, I've got some Neo in this, in this, in this um, account. We know what happened, like, if we go back to 20, what day is that? 24th, the 24th trading day, as you can see, that's what happened. Um, well, if you go back further, actually, if we go back to here, 17th, where it fell down to, everyone was worried, blah, 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 you know, and this and that. And remember the next day I, I made a video, I said it was going to go up, I called it right, went up to 550, but it didn't push higher. And, you know, but anyway, it came back down, if you remember here, on the 24th, it came down to, you know, like just under four, 490, 494. Then from that 494, it flew up to 60, at about 606. You know, from, from basically five, five dollars, Neo stock flew up to six dollars. Anyway, now it's on the way down again. So we haven't seen, you know, like, like a huge spike. Like here, it didn't, it went back down, it didn't spike. And then when it spiked here, it didn't continue the next day. So this coming down is, uh, to me anyway, for me, it's not financial advice. It's a good sign for Neo stock. If I am, um, say I, I don't want to say, you know, as I say, not financial advice, but if I'm looking for a spike up, and don't forget, like, you know, Friday, it's Friday. And oftentimes on Friday, I don't know if you realised or if you know, but oftentimes a lot of stocks on Friday they 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 actually go down. Not all, but in general, like stocks, if they were on the way down, they tend to go down a bit more. Um, so that's one aspect. Um, Neo stock. It's holding up, although it's, you know, pushing on that five, five dollar mark, it's holding above that. And even where it doesn't, it springs back up. We're still looking at the day chart here. Like if we go on to, so I can't see it delisting. I can't, I can't. I mean, it's not financial advice, but, you know, it's early days. They, 
the sales are growing, aren't they? I mean, look, this is the four hour chart. And um, if we take it from here, the four hour chart, we're not going to see that big spike, but it's actually, you know, four four ninety seven. Yeah, so it's, it's actually like, if it goes below five, it's like just a tad, just a tad below five, and then it springs up. So it's like everyone's fighting for, you know, to get to get a bit more. So see, now it goes down, and then they fight to get a bit more. So as I said, I made trades on the other account. But I thought I won't go all in. I'll wait and see if it goes down much. But it's not really going down much. Like we're looking at the 10 minute chart again here. And you can see like like now it's gone down. But that would be like spring back up probably. Um, let's see. It's back to five, 5.03. See like it's springing up. You see, like, it springs up, you know. So that's that's what I mean. Like, you know, it goes down and then people like loading up for the odd, you know, like saving three, four, four cents or whatever. You know, they like, they buy here 503. Don't forget they got the spread. You know, the spread was what was it 508 spread was something like 508 so they're trying to buy down here they're trying to buy lower that's the thing but <clears throat> if people are loading up a lot a lot of people they won't be selling at this at this price um so that's what's going on with um, neo stock I don't, I don't i don't think it would delist. I don't see any evidence of Neo stock delisting, but obviously, like some people, they might be concerned about delisting Neo stock because it's happened before with you know Chinese companies listed on the U.S. stock market. But look, if I thought it was going to delist. I wouldn't have just put two two thousand dollars in it in my other account, and I'm holding some on this account as well. So anyway, look, it looks like people are trying to get in. You know, cheaper, 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 or you can actually put a buy order on the way down. But you know, I don't know. There's pros and cons of doing that pros and cons which I'm not going to get into uh, let's change the chart to the 30 minute chart and that's what's going on on the 30 minute chart by basically the 30 minute chart takes us right back to right here that's where that's the 30 minute chart first of november and see it went up then there are the lows so that's 497 under the five dollar for neo and then pushing up to 522 well, that actually would have been a good trade in and in and of itself, you know, loading up at four ninety seven spread would have been what five oh six, something like that. Spread would have took you to there, and then the profit would have been all up here. Like, would have been quite a bit of profit if if depends on how many stock. Neo stock would have been bought, but this is a 30 minute chart, guys. Like, and as I say, it's floating around that just above that five dollar 
and obviously the market's coming up to you know it's going to close uh just a few hours it's 6:24 p.m. UK time. So, you know, just just a couple of hours and a bit left, you know, and that'll be it. So, this is just um, I don't know, people buying, selling, buying, selling. It's quite volatile, but within a range, within a certain range, just neo stock. So I don't think it will go much lower before the close. I mean, if it does, it's going to spike up pretty quick. But if it does go lower, I don't think it's going to go any significant amount lower. So I'm not really going to watch it. And I'm not going to put a buy order on at this stage. You know, uh, if I was going to put a buy order on anyway, it would be something like four fifty four dollars fifty cents to get value you know what I mean I wouldn't want to buy I wouldn't want to buy like you know on a buy order I wouldn't want to buy above four fifty not to say that it's gonna go four fifty but <clears throat> And I'm not really thinking about a buy order, really. I've got that open order. <clears throat> you know, I've got that order I bought on the other um, trading platform. And on this one, I've got stuck. I've been holding, holding. You know, I've been up on it a bit. I haven't got a lot on this one. But I've been basically up, you know. And I still haven't cashed it. So just see how it goes, guys, on Neo, Neo stock. But I don't think it's going to delist, in my opinion. I don't see any reason why it would delist. So, and I wouldn't have bought, as I said. So let's see how it goes for next week. I should imagine it will shoot up. And the only reason I haven't put more in on the other account is, as I said, like if it if it was going to go sort of 480, 470, 480, which I don't think it will, like there's no evidence that it will. It seems to be, you know, around about the five, $5 mark. But if I thought it was going to go 480, and I actually saw it, not on a buy order, but I actually saw it 580 at the time, you know, I was watching it. I would be tempted to, or basically I'd be tempted to load up more, uh, looking for that spike up to, you know, 550, six, six dollars for a quick, you know, quick, quick trade, if you know what I mean. Um, but, at the moment, overall, when you look, we're on the 30 minute chart. When you see that, when it came down and then it went up again and it come, came down here, up, down, it seems to be kind of like undecided. On the one hand, you can interpret this price action as it's like trying to push lower. On the other hand, you know, because you've got a spiky price action overall, it could just shoot up at any time. Um, so knowing what we know about Neo stock, about Neo company, increasing sales and, and obviously like when you want to increase sales, eventually, you know, profits are going to increase and debts decrease. <coughs> Excuse me, knowing what we know. That's why it's going to be spiky, like continue to be spiky. That's why, you know, you're trying to get, trying to get it low again, trying to, trying to see $4 again. It's going to be difficult in my opinion. 
you know, if this went to four dollars, it's going to be because of a external force, like a you know, a, like a wider stock market crash, and then that probably wouldn't last for long, like the, that price, you know, that dip it probably just shoot back up again quite quickly, I should imagine. But anyway, guys, like um, it's the weekends coming. So let's see what happens maybe after market or and or uh, on Monday. But I, I, I'll watch it on the weekend. And if I see any anything significant, I'll update you.